Hello everyone, it's Chris from CA Homestead. And so today we're at Sir La Tab. I got a Sir La Tab gift card for Christmas. Um, and if anyone knows, anyone who loves cooking or loves kitchen stuff, give them a gift card to Sir La Tab. They'll love it. So I'm gonna take you guys in and kind of show you what, what I'm gonna get. Um, I have a couple things in mind, um, but I'll show you everything uh, later. But we're gonna head on into Sir La Tab where I can spend an entire day at. This is a back massager. Oh. What's this for? It's for like dough. It puts holes in it. Why do you need holy dough? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the stuff I think bubble that's what up. It is. Yeah, it's a dough doctor. So it doesn't bubble up whenever you cook it. It's a back massager. Can we get this batter finger? <laughs> Look at this. How much is that one? This is 50. They done lost their minds at Sir Latal. No. This is my favorite vanilla though. These cherries are really good. So Florida Cell is, is a much more mild version of salt. A lot of people use it on caramels. Uh, you can use it as a finishing salt. It's just not so strong. I have one of those in my cake decorating kit. So, do you? I have four of them. You had or you still have? Two offset and two straight. Okay, well, I'm gonna get another one. I don't have them anymore, I don't know where they are. You can never have too many offset spatulas. These are really, really handy for cooking. Um, they're primarily used for cakes, but they're really handy for cooking. E it makes it easy to flip things. Um, and I, ha I have to have one, I don't have one. So this is the Colin Mason pepper grinder. Um, the America's Test Kitchen voted this the number one pepper grinder. And this is, and we have this one. I actually bought it for someone else for a gift too. But this is my favorite pepper grinder. Um, it has these really easy adjustable settings on here. You can go to a, a fine up to a very very coarse grind. Um, it's it's easy to turn. It's easy to use. So if you look, if you're in the market for a pepper grinder, go out and grab the Cole Mason pepper grinder. This is an ice cream scooper, um, but it works really, really well as cookies. Um, if, if you make a lot of cookies, or even if you don't, you should get one of these because then you will make a lot of cookies. It makes it really easy. You just scoop out the dough, um, and then it makes a perfect ball on the cookie sheet. So grab one of these if you don't have one. Okay, so this is a sea of utensils. So a couple of these are must-haves. Of course, every kitchen has to have a whisk um, for batters and for eggs and everything else 
such a must. Um, a wooden spoon is also a must. Um, and I also like to have one with a flat top to it, something like this, so that you can scrape the bottom of, of a pan. It works really well for that. Um, also, Spatulas, so I just talked about the offset spatulas. Um, every kitchen should have one of those. It makes it easy for flipping things, uh, especially in the pan if it's if they're small. So every kitchen also needs a ladle. Um, here's one that's it's black and red. Um, every kitchen needs a, a strainer for when you're frying. I, I love these little wire strainers. Um, it's good to get stuff out, out of oil. They suck to clean them. They do. If you get batter in them and batter fries on these little these little wires, it's it's a bad thing for you. And it cuts the sponge up too. It does. It'll cut the sponge up. Um, and also a plastic spatula, uh, something that's heat resistant and it won't scratch up your nonstick pans. Um, you, have, you need to have one of these. So here's a bench scraper. Um, if you make dough, uh, if you make bread, um, this is really it makes getting the dough off in the board really easy. Um, here's some. Tongs. Every kitchen has to have tongs. I mean, it's also good to get the the kind that has the silicone on the end. These don't, but, but also um, it, just like the, the spatula, the, um, that silicone it won't scratch your nonstick. So I've already done a video on on chef's knives, um, but they have beautiful shun uh, and Wushoff knives here. Um, I do not have a shun knife, and this is actually this other top is where I got the um, Victorinox, the Five Rocks Pro chef knife at. Which I love. It's only like I think it was forty bucks, um, which is really inexpensive for a chef knife that works so well. Um, but I'm kind of in knife heaven right now. I want to buy everything. <laughs> I do eventually want to get a, a Japanese knife. Though. So if you're gonna have a good cutting, a good chef's knife, you need to have a good cutting board. Um, so Boo's makes a fantastic cutting board. Um, my favorite one is actually made of teak. Um, it's the Proteek um, cutting board. You can just Google that. I got mine off of Amazon. Um, but so, just a little bit on cutting boards. I don't really like the, the edge grain boards because if you think about wood, wood is kind of built like a straw. So if you get if you get one with this edge grain here, water water has a tendency to seep into it if it gets dry or if the finish comes off of it. Um, so definitely invest in a good cutting board if you're going to have a good. So I want to take a second to show you guys what I got from going to Sir Le Tab with my Christmas gift card. Uh, and of course I go to Sir Le Tab all the time. It was a fantastic Christmas present. Um, so Angel and I have been picking this morning. We went to a couple of barns and got some stuff out. Um, so this is the Saturday no shower Chris version. Um, but I still wanted to take a second and show you guys what we got. So, so let's get started. So some of this stuff, um, I might not technically need, but I wanted. That's what you do with Christmas presents, right? So this is an, a cherry and an olive pitter. I've probably seen one time in my life when I actually needed a cherry and an olive, and an olive pitter, but that one time I was so mad that I didn't have one. So I went ahead and got one. So um, I'm gonna need scissors. Very handy in the Wushoff set. So, it's pretty easy to use. So you just put the, the cherry or the olive in there. I mean, this little piece comes down and then knocks the, the pit out of it. Like I said, I've only really seen one time whenever I needed one of these, but that one time I was so mad that I didn't have it. So, and I love kitchen stuff. All right, okay, what's next? So I got some vanilla. Um, so this is the Nielsen Massey uh, vanilla. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I love this vanilla. Um, it's it's kind of pricey, but I, I really do like it. Uh, I can taste the difference too whenever I make cookies or something that has a lot of vanilla in, especially with baking. So I got some vanilla. I got some kitchen towels. So this is 100% cotton kitchen towels. Uh, if you're making bread um, or something that you have to cover and let rise, if you use something that, that has a lot of lint on it, sometimes you get lint on your food. So if you use 100% cotton kitchen towels, you won't get lint onto your food. Um, and, and these are also nice, they have a nice design to them. Um, there's, there's two different ones in the pack. I really like these. Angel was really happy because this matches our set of Ray Dunn mugs. So I got Angel's approval. All right. So these are kind of funny looking. <laughs> so, <laughs> so these are actually egg poachers. So 
what you do is you sit these down into boiling water and then you actually simmering water uh, and then you crack an egg into these cups and it poaches the egg for you so sometimes it gets kind of complicated to drop an egg into boiling water and actually have it to come out looking like you want it to look so I wanted to try these out I haven't tried them before I mean actually there's a little stick that you're supposed to buy with these that you see these little holes so the stick actually picks up these little pockets um, and it makes it a little easier to get it out of the water. I did not buy the stick, so I might struggle a little bit with these. But um, but I'll try the egg poaching with these, and I'll let you guys know how it is. I've been wanting to buy them for a while, but I just haven't. And I talked about this in the video. So this is an offset spatula. People use it primarily for baking, but this is really, really good for cooking. It's, it makes flipping things very easy. Um, so I, I, I was mad that I didn't have one of these, so I, when I, whenever I got my gift card, I went and grabbed one. Right. So this is kind of funny. My friend James was with us and at checkout said, yeah, just throw, just throw these in. So I went ahead and got them and I was like, whatever, they're gummy bears. Um, little did I know, these are gummy bears that are infused with Dom Perignon uh, champagne. So I'm actually excited to try these. Now, I think there's like 20 or 30 gummy bears in here and this was $10. So I I'm excited to try them. It says, made with Dom Perignon vintage champagne. These sophisticated bears sparkle in flavors of brute and rose. So we're gonna give them a try in another video. And then, so the gift that I was most excited about, so this is a Cuisinart mini prep food processor. So this one was actually on sale. I think it was like 28 bucks for this. Um, and I'm gonna take it out of the box for you. I have a food processor, but if you're making something small, like if you're making a small batch of pesto, um, or if you're not making a large quantity of something, my food processor kind of struggles. Um, it, I don't have a Cuisinart food processor, but again, it just it kind of struggles. So I, I wanted something small for making small batches of things because especially just cooking for Angel and I, I'm not always making a lot of food. So you see, it is really mini. Small. I'm excited about this though. I mean, this is this is the perfect size for me. And here's the face to it. It's nice and pretty. It's got a copper finish to it. So I, I am quite excited to try this out. One of the best things about the Cuisinart food processor, um, as reviewed by America's Test Kitchen, they, they really liked it because of how close the blade, this bottom blade, goes to the bottom um, of the container here. Because a lot of food processors, they don't, the blade doesn't go uh, to the bottom far enough, so then you get food stuck in there that doesn't actually get processed. So Cuisinart does a really good job with their food processors, so I was happy to get one on sale for 28 bucks. Um, and it being a, a perfect size for Angel and I. So again, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a video, I might make some pesto, um, or something in the in the food processor and show you guys what I think about it But yeah, that's that's my little trip to, uh, to Sir La Tom. So if you guys check out your local Sir La Tom, I'm sure you'll find something in there that you need um, Or something in there that you won't like an olive pitter um, But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you updated on these products Don't forget to share like and subscribe and comment below if you have any of these products or if you'd like me to find different products for you guys and do a review on them. And I wanted to give a special thank you to Angel's parents for the Sir La Top gift card. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.